Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Ranita and I have a passion for makeup. Today I'm getting into Three Pals by Clio. Now there's Achiu and then there's Paleo and Oceano, all of which are sitting over here. These are 12 pan palettes and when I first saw this collection, I was so excited about these. I was so attached to the Clio and I decided to send these to me and uh, I can't wait to actually review them for you. So let me break down what we're doing in this video. I'm going to be doing um, basically like first of all testing out all the shades. You're going to get product shots as well and I'm also going to do swatches for you so how am I going to do the every shade thing for each palette now there are 12 shades in each palette here and what I'm going to do is two half looks so there'll be four shades on this eye four shades on that eye and then the final look will be like a full faced look because I kind of miss doing full face looks so yeah let's do this together we're going to start off with some product shots and we're going to be doing the Archeo palette first that's why I'm wearing yellow over here This is the plan. I'm going to do these four shades on one eye and these four shades on the next and that's going to be the full face look that we're going to be doing. So as always I'm going to start off with my mattes. I'm going in with the shade uh, Lichen over here. So Lichen is that grey and I'm just going to get some... Okay so this is Lichen in here which is that grey that you just saw. Okay so now I'm going in with Fragment over here which kind of looks like a little bit like my skin tone. Um, the formula of these are looking pretty good so far, so I'm happy with that. Alright, so now for the second night, I'm going to be doing these two shades here. That's Nomad and Erosion. So these are brighter shades. I'm going to take Erosion because um, it looks like that, and I think I just prefer my darker shades on the ends of my eyes. Oh, that is such a pretty color. I feel like it just brightened up my eyes so much. Okay, I'm um, going in with the shade Nomad, which is a, a yellow. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna put that here in the inner corner. Alrighty, so now we're doing shimmers. These two on the first eye and those two on the next eye. So let me just grab a little bit of um, Artifact, which is uh, the brown kind of shade. It's very pretty, it looks like that. Um, and I think I'm, I'm gonna just put that in the inner corner here. If 
I'm just getting artifact right over here. So this is terrine and you can automatically see how beautifully those colors just go together. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's such a pretty like peach green kind of tone thing and oh, I really do like that combination. Because you know, I don't um, I don't always do combinations like this, so when a palette's able to give me a combination that I haven't tried, I definitely feel happy about it. Okay, and on this eye, we have Sulfur and Neo, so you can see what those two colors are looking like. Um, I'm going to probably put Sulfur in the inner corner, and I'll put Neo at the outer one. So I'm going to put that beautiful yellow over here. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I suck at putting eyeshadow on this eye with my finger, by the way. So yeah, I know that there's a <laughs> a lovely mess forming down there, but I'll have to clean that up. So anyway, this is the first shade. That's Sulfur. Such a pretty yellow, and I feel like it matches with my top so beautifully. And we have the next shade, which is Neo. It looks like that. Oh, it looks like the sky. It's so, so pretty. And I definitely love blues. It's so pretty. Let me just get a wee bit more of that and tap that around. And of course I'm kind of blending it together with that yellow, but yeah, that's basically what it's looking like. I think it's really, really pretty. That blue goes very well with yellow. I'm going to go clean up my face and I will be right back. Hello, this is looks one and two completed and I'm just going to share the makeup details and then tell you a little bit of feedback before we go into the next two looks. So I used Yensa foundation as always, this is tan neutral um, and I also use their under eye corrector. I don't use a ton of foundation but I do use a little if I have breakouts which I do at the moment, I've got you know stuff there. So anyway, um, I do uh, think that the lipstick I went in with kind of matched the overall theme because it's kind of light, it's not super intense in color. So this one is um, Light Peach by Odensei. It's a very pretty color and I do like it. It's, it's not too much, you know, it, it just kind of goes nicely and it doesn't take away from the eyes. So, um, okay, let's talk about the shades, the first eight shades here. So basically we have, um, you know, like two thirds of the palette done essentially. So all these colors essentially, you know, all eight have been done. Um, I think that they're really, really pretty. I love the color combinations that I've done. And I feel like the formula is really good too because I was looking at my eyes and I was realizing that there's no creasing at all. Like it just looks so, so pretty. It looks so gorgeous. And I love the shifts that I'm seeing as well. Like, I feel like if you just used one shade at a time, you're probably going to see stronger shifts. Right now, I'm kind of going in with more than one. So it may be a little hard for my mirror to pick up the shifts for the inner corner shades here. Um, but I, I generally just think that they're very, very pretty. And I think that uh, Terrain is very, very beautiful. I love the way that it's kind of going with that color there. It's just so unique and so different. I felt really, really happy, actually. Like, just getting two very different kind of looks that I normally probably would not have done, you know, with these color combinations. I'm even more excited as we go into the last one from this palette. All right, welcome back. We're going into looks three and four. Now we have the last four shades, which are these four here. And I'm going into the next palette. This is the shade, uh, I mean, this is the palette Paleo. So I think that for Paleo, I'm just going to probably start with these four over here. As always going in with the matte shades first. So that's going to be the blue, which is called the Dead Sea. And we're going to Take that blue and tap it here. It's so pretty, I do like this blue. I'm not actually dipping my brush in a lot. Um, I'm just kind of gently going in and so much color is coming out, so that's why I'm kind of taking my time with this. Um, I'm going in next with Monolith, which is kind of like a nice pink shade, but a muted one. It looks like that. I like that it is showing up on my skin. I want to do this before my base dries because I get more color before it actually dries. Stated before, we're going in with those four. So I'm going to go in with Maureen, which is the deep, kind of dark blue shade. And I'm going to just put that one here and take it up in the same way. I'm trying to go above my crease line here. I may have overdone it there by accident. Okay, let me just, this is actually a blue shade, but um, it kind of looks more black on me. It's kind of like a grayish kind of um, bluey shade. Okay, next I have the shade Pangea, 
just that one. It's so cute, that little dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> So this is kind of very much um, like a skin tone shade for me. So yeah, I can see Pangea really just goes into my skin like, like I can't even see Pangea, but that's really just a skin tone thing. Um, if you have a different skin tone, it'll look very different. All right, let's go in with Glyph and Sundial over here. So I'm gonna take Sundial, which is that color. It's just so pretty, love that color. It's looking like that. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corners of my eye. I'm just stamping all into the inner corners. Probably will need a brush to go and make that a bit neat, but for now that's fine. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Glyph. I did feel like this would be better on the outside corners because I just felt like um, I want to show off that shift with my mirror and if I put this in the inner corners, it's gonna be, you know, a bit harder to capture that shift. So anyway, this is what it looks like. And honestly, I barely even touched that shade. And it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love the way that that turned out. That is so gorgeous. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, I'm just putting that palette down and we're going into Paleo over here. So here I have Creta and I've got that blue, which is Trench. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Creta for the inner corner because that makes the most sense to me. Just grabbing a little bit over there. And we're gonna put that in the inner corner and make a mess probably under... Um, I think I'll just stick to this and I'll get a brush into my inner corners because I always make a mess on that eye. Like, I just cannot get it right for the love of God. Anyway, um, trench. We're going in with blue. Uh, yeah, this is very, very pretty. It looks like it has a deeper base as well. Oh, that's such a beautiful color. My goodness, I love that color. I am such a sucker for blues. If you give me this kind of blue, I'll just be drooling. It is beautiful. Oh. And the color combination is also so pretty. That peach kind of color with the blue. Perfection. <laughs> I really love that. That is beautiful. Also a color combination that I have not done um, in a while. Hey everyone, this is looks three and four completed. Now, of course, we finished up the entire palette. Um, that is the Archeo palette. And we're just beginning with the Paleo one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the Archeo palette here. And uh, the Paleo I'll do after we finish the entire palette because I'm going to break down the palette for you. But before we do that, let me briefly get you the makeup details. Uh, very simple as always. Same foundation. I just went in with a little bit of my Yensa. I absolutely love that foundation. And this one actually has SPF. So if you've never tried this and you've got dry skin, highly recommend it because it's my favorite. I absolutely love it. It's in the shade 10 neutral and I'm going to use the same foundation for every single look so just keep that in mind if I don't mention it and you know some of the other things because it's getting a bit repetitive telling you the same foundation again and again and of course the eye base is the same too. Now for my lips I went in with Glamorize which is an Ula Cosmetics lip gloss. If you haven't tried uh, Ula Cosmetics you're definitely missing out on something. I swear by these lip glosses they are probably my favorite out of everything that I've tried. I absolutely love them. The color, the shine, the way it moisturizes my mouth yeah you just can't beat it um and then of course for my brows i also went in with the black brow kit and i do have a code so if you want to go pick that up you can totally go and do that now let me break it down for you archie oh my goodness what a stunning gorgeous palette um i have to say that I, I wasn't sure what to expect, okay, like when I went in with Archeo and I'm just so, like, I don't know, I like it so much. It is so unexpected. <laughs> like the color combinations that I got on my eyes, I was just like, oh, I wasn't expecting that and I really liked it. I like the fact that it was so different and so unique. Um, I, I just love the color story, actually. I think I'm definitely like a bit of a fan right now. So I will say that um, the matte shades are definitely on the drier side so it's kind of like a dry formula and when you put your brush in there it's going to come off very easily into your brush so you're not going to have a problem with that and um the, the shimmer formulas i think that there were two i think there's only two shades in here that actually shift i could be wrong if i am i'm sorry but from what i noticed it's terrain that shifts a lot and we have glyph over here which also shifts a lot and i think these are just normal um colors i think these are normal shimmer shades but i actually really like the formula of them they're so so pretty i feel like you could wear these for every day they are just beautiful and the way they show up on your eyes is really really nice very smooth uh no creasing again 
like if you looked at my you know eyes I had done a close-up earlier so I think you would have seen over there that there was no creasing so I'm absolutely loving the formula right now of the palette I think it's absolutely fantastic the colors are so pretty and the truth is I feel I could do a lot more color combinations with this one because they've kind of made it so easy and so nice to work with it so I'm actually itching to get back into this particular one because the color story is so nice and it's um it's just very very pretty i really do like it so i'm going to reserve like my full review of like all three palettes and what i think for the end of this uh, video so just stay tuned for that but these are my thoughts after trying out the entire um you know first palette which is archeo so archeo is absolutely gorgeous and wonderful and i had so much fun with it so i really love the colors that i saw in there and i do think that some of these colors could even be like for a spring kind of story especially um new over here this is a spring color even this for spring perfect and then you have all your gorgeous summer tones you've got some neutrals in there it's such a nice mix of like all these different tones and colors so i'm kind of like hmm, this is kind of like a mix between a spring palette and i would say maybe autumn because you know these tones are also very autumn like if you take like yellow orange you know this uh shade over here i think even terrain could probably pass for um for autumn because it's got this very peachy kind of green thing going on which i love i think it's gorgeous i don't think i have a shade like that so i think that yeah for autumn it would be really beautiful so this kind of passes as a mix of spring and autumn for me and yet at the same time i kind of feel like it could also be summer because it you know summer is so vibrant and colorful and happy and i'm just like mm, this is a lovely mix of like all of these different seasons in here so um anyway like i said i'll give you like more thoughts on everything at the end of the video so let me get into the next two looks uh which are going to be you know the paleo palette um because we've only done the first four shades and I'm very excited to get into these because I know that there's a lot more shimmers coming up. So we do have uh, basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And over here, we've actually got three shimmers. So I'm going to have to figure out a way like to incorporate those three shimmers into like one, you know, of my looks. Uh, Sulfur and Neo, they're very, very sparkly and very shiny. And then of course, you've got Glyph and uh, Terrain over here, which are the multi-chromes, which have the classic Leona, you know, like multi-chrome finish, which is very nice and smooth and very pretty and very like shifty. And you can see how sparkly and shiny that is. And then I feel like Sundial over here, it is a shimmer, but if you look at it, the consistency seems to be like very different from that shade here. Like this over here is so sparkly. It's kind of similar to um, Neo and Sulfur and the way that it finished. But I feel like this color here, Sundial, it's kind of like a muted kind of uh, shimmer, kind of perfect for everyday wear actually, in my opinion. And I think Artifact also was um, very sparkly. So it's kind of like more like this kind of finish. Hey everyone, we're going to be going in again now with Paleo. So my whole face is gonna just be Paleo and then I'll give you my thoughts on the palette. But I did wanna say something if you actually do pick up this palette, um, you can actually see that this orange section here is actually kind of meant to go together and that blue section is meant to go together. And I kind of think maybe I could have done the first look from the Paleo palette a bit differently. I could have done like maybe four from the warm thing and then tried and combined a few so that I had like, you know, like one really warm toned look. So I didn't think about that when I was doing it. Um, I'm actually wondering if I should just do that this time, but it would be a little bit difficult because I kind of feel like there's some really beautiful shifty shades in the blue section that I kind of want to feature as well. And there's like three shimmers in the blue section, but I'm kind of wondering, should I do that or should I like mix it up, you know, like cold and warm and, you know, the same thing on that side. But you know what, I think I'm just going to go in with one warm toned one and one cool toned one this time. So we're not going to be doing it in like fours that way. I'm going to take these four. So one, two, three, four on one side and then it'll be one, two, three, four on the other side. We are going to go in with the matte shades first. Now there are two mattes on the orange side. So I'm going to just put the lightest one first. So that's magma. Magma looks like an orangey kind of peach shade. And because it's so light, I kind of want to just put it in the corner here. So I'm going to do exactly that. Let me just get a bit more. So it is showing up pretty well on my eyes. Um, I did go in with my base, so I think that's why it's, it's looking pretty good over there. It is kind of going a bit into my skin, but I think it's okay. Like I can kind of make that work. So I'm going to go in next with Tectonic, which is that color over there. And then we're gonna um, go in with the next matte shade. There's only one for the other eye, which will be fossil, but I just wanna kind of finish this one up first. So here I have this pretty chocolatey kind of brown 
Yeah, that's quite nice. I do like the way that that turned out. I'm grabbing um, Fossil now. So Fossil is a cooler toned brown. Let's see how that looks on my eyes. Yeah, you can see that is it is a different shade here. It's a different toned brown. And again, I don't mind having browns with Cleona because this is generally how I actually wear Cleona. I like going in for like one brown. So you can definitely see the difference between that brown and this brown. This is the shade Epoch and this is for the warm side. So we're going to put Epoch right here. It looks like a really pretty um, neutral shade. And it looks like it has this kind of greenish and yellowy thing going on. Like when I look at the sparkles on my eyes, that's the color that I'm kind of seeing. It looks really pretty. It's a really, really nice color and the sparkles are definitely like multicolored. I think it has more of a peach base, like when I look at that. So it's very, very pretty. And now we're going to go in with the exciting shade, which is our Arkea. And this is so, so, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It's like this pink that goes into, can you see that? That's so exciting. <laughs> okay, I love, love, love shifty shades. So whenever I see a shifty shade, I'm like, yes, please. Oh, wow, that green is so unbelievably intense. And I kind of like the way that this shade, Arkea, kind of just blends in so beautifully with that shade. Like, I really wasn't expecting it to with epoch i mean it's just it's just it looks such a smooth transition doesn't it it looks incredible um, i think i'll start with glacial so we have these three blues right we've got glacial here and then we've got that more green kind of thing and then we've got this so i think i may actually use glacial to just kind of maybe do like an outline or something i like maybe an inner corner shade um but i think that arctic water and ice core are going to be like the main ones for me so I think I'm going to put Ice Core in the center. Um, I'm going to get a little bit. So that's this one here because this one really shifts. Like it's got very, very beautiful shifts that I'm seeing and it, it deserves to be in the center of my lid. Like I have been dying to get this on my lid like ever since I saw it. So I'm going to put some of that here. And oh, I was not expecting this to be the color that shows up. That is so pretty. And it goes so well with that brown. You see, this is what I mean. This is how I wear my makeup. Like I'll have one brown and I'll have one multi-chrome shade and that's more than enough for me. I just think that this is so, so pretty. Um, I'm grabbing Arctic Waters, which is a much deeper green. And I'm gonna gently tap that here on the end of my eye. So you can see like the difference. If there's a huge difference between Arctic Water and Ice Core. Ice Core is kind of um, like more blue and you know Arctic Water is definitely like more of that teal and I can also see that uh, Ice Core kind of has this bluish teal and purple thing going on. For my inner corner we're gonna do glacial so I'm just grabbing a little bit of glacial um, which is that pretty little blue and uh, we're just gonna stamp glacial here. Glacial almost kind of blends in I think with um, with Ice Core because it looks kind of similar in my lid. I think when I show it to you like this, you can see um, more of a difference here because can you see that purple coming through? Like I can see the purple coming through and that's not coming through from that first shade there, which is glacial. So it's coming from ice core. That's ice core all the way. It's very, very pretty. Hey everyone, so this is look five and six done. Um, wow, this, this palette is honestly so, so beautiful and I can't wait to get into the thoughts. So um, as always, like the makeup details are the same. The only difference is I used a Shina B lip gloss. This is in the shade Besitos and it's a very pretty color. I like lip glosses more than lipstick. So that's why if you're seeing a lot of lip glosses here, it's because of that. But uh, anyway, let me give you my thoughts on this. I honestly love the colors that I've seen so far in this palette. I just think that they're so pretty. I kind of feel like this would be so good, like even as a work palette because of those neutrals down there. And then, you know, if you want to spice it up, you have, you know, that gorgeous multi chrome there and you can mix and match with all of these cool tones in here um, this is just such a pretty palette and I really felt like I got this gorgeous peacock kind of look from it too just going in with all the blues 
I was thinking oh my goodness like I wish I had gone in with a trench for this one too like I may have put it like underneath there or something that would have been so so pretty and I feel like I could get like all of my eyeliners and just do amazing things with this so I really love the cool section of the palette I really love the cool section of the palette and I think that the warmer section is also quite nice it's not my favorite like thing because of course if you know me you know that I definitely prefer my cool tones to neutral tones but I do have to say I absolutely love that shade that is so pretty like even now you can see how strong the shift is like I don't even need to set up like multiple lights here to show you the shift because it's that good so I'm so impressed with that shade and I really really love it and then of course all the imprints and everything are so adorable in this palette I just love the way that they've designed it the way that they've you know kind of arranged the shades as well it makes it very easy to kind of you know create looks and do what you want with it like if you just want the cool tones you can do that or you just want the warm tones you can do that if you want to mix and match you can also do that because of the way that it's been arranged so yeah I really enjoyed myself with the paleo palette it's just so so cute and I honestly love dinosaurs so when I saw this I was like oh like I really really like that they've gone and done that now as for the finishes here like all of the mattes are very similar to the Accio palette I'd say it's the exact same formula um, you know they are very pigmented and I did go back in and kind of went over my eyes I have to do that because I have hooded eyes so sometimes I don't take my shades high enough and then they kind of just get buried underneath you know the hood so I'm just like okay so I have to just go back in so I did do that um, I like the finishes they're very very smooth very very shiny very pigmented like I just I love how sparkly these are actually it's like you know even as I'm just moving my eyes like this I can see the sparkle coming through and it's just I don't know I'm very very happy with this particular palette I had so much fun with it and something that I actually should have mentioned even for the Accio palette is that they've actually given you like tips on how you can go in with these colors which I really love and appreciate um, if you look at this here which I'm going to show you. So if you look at the back of this, yeah, this is the box. So this is what the palette comes inside. But they've basically, um, you know, already classified all the shades here for you. They told you what each shade is. So I'm just looking at this here. Um, so yeah, in here we've got duochromes, we've got multi-chromes, we've got satin shades, we've got matte shades, and then there's a foiled one. So all of that makes so much more sense. I really appreciate them doing that because I always struggle with trying to figure out like which is what. So I really love the fact that Cleona did this. It just makes everything so much easier so that means that that green over there is actually a duochrome I wish that I had known that because I, I wasn't really focusing on getting like too much of a shift from that green because I just put a tiny bit of that there I think I did see a little bit of shift happening but then I wasn't sure if it was just you know in my imagination or what but even when I was using the palette I kind of did see a slight shift I think this goes to a blue because I'm just looking at it in the palette right now so it kind of moves from like a teal to a pretty blue shade so that's also very interesting because I can definitely see See that happening in the mirror so that totally makes sense over there so yeah if you want to know like what each shade is uh, I highly recommend just you know flipping your palette and keeping this information you know in mind I'm so excited because we've come to the last palette and I was really looking forward to this one and honestly the the color combinations here are also at the back so here they actually have four looks that they you know have suggested you can do and they've kind of classified the shades they tell you the kind of shades the reason this palette is more expensive than the other ones is because this has more multi chromes so this one actually has got four multi chromes and one dual chrome and uh, it's got one metallic shade but honestly I'm just so excited when I saw this color the story I knew that this was the palette for me <laughs> like I was just so so excited about it so I have no idea what I want to create here because I did want to do like a full-faced look um, honestly all the shades are calling to me it's so hard for me to actually decide what I want to go in with so I'm just gonna do it like how I did it before I think I'm just going to um, do this on one eye like these four on one eye because that's such a pretty combination then I'm gonna do this on the next eye and this will be my full-faced look I think. So I'm going in with Archie Pelagio and it's a really pretty green. Oh I love that shade. I love that shade so much. It's so so nice. It's like this um, grungy kind of green but it's also so pretty. So this is going to be an interesting look because this is the only matte in these four shades here. Okay, so I am changing what I'm doing for this look. I'm going to go in with this, this green, that green, and starfish. So that kind of is going to make sense because otherwise, if I do it this way, there's like three 
shimmers and if I come to this look over here there's three shimmers which really doesn't make sense and then like this title shade over there which I don't want so I kind of want to make sure that I have an even distribution as much as possible of shimmers and mattes so I'm going in with um, a green shade here and I'm gonna have to go in with starfish which is a really really bright orange shade so I'm grabbing some of starfish now which is so pretty and I really like that color look at that that is so vibrant I wonder how that's gonna look on me and I'm just gonna put that here. So um, yeah, just looking at this, I feel like Starfish is actually really pretty. It looks like a nice neutral shade. If you wanna get that true color from Starfish, you're definitely gonna have to use like a white base or something like that to get the color on there. But I don't mind because again, um, the real joy for me from Cleona is always, you know, the shimmer shades and I'm, I'm a shimmer heavy person anyway. So let's go in with these colors now. I'm really excited about this. Um, I think that I'm gonna just take a little bit of Moana Lua, so that's this shade. Now this is a multi-chrome shade and it's really really pretty. See that? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love that color. It's magical actually. Oh my goodness. Like I love that. I love that so much. It's beautiful. So, so smooth. And I can see like um, a shift coming through and it goes so well with that green. Uh, let me see how this goes. Oh, that is such a gorgeous green. I do love that. Oh yeah, this was such a good decision. I'm so happy that I put seagrass here. That is beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna go in for the blue. So I'm gonna be doing that blue, this blue. These are both mattes and then we're gonna do this one and that blue on my eyes. So. I'm pretty excited about that because I really love blues and this is just so pretty. Undertow is looking like a bit of a navy kind of blue to me. Kind of like, yeah, it's a navy blue. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of create the same shape that I've done. I'm sorry that my looks are so like monotonous in terms of shape, but I really just wanted to show you what all the colors look like. This is Lagoon. It's a very, very bright, pretty blue. So I'm gonna put that here. Oh, that is a gorgeous blue. I love that. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with um, Tidal and Bioluminescent. So Tidal is probably going to be, um, Tidal is the deeper blue shade, which is this one right here. It's very, very pretty though. I do like that color. So I'm gonna put that at the end and I think I'll put Bioluminescent like in the middle, like how I've done for this one. And I may, no, I think Tidal is just gonna stay at the end, yeah. And Bioluminescent will be in the center. Oh, okay. So this kind of reminds me of um, the shade Sundial from the other palette. I think that was Archeo. It's kind of got a very similar kind of feel to it. Oh, that's a beautiful blue. Very, very nice. I could use this like, you know, to do a peacock look because I really, I love that blue. It's so pretty. In fact, it reminds me of one of the very first palettes that I ever owned, which was from a brand called Lacme. And this was like more than 10 years ago. And I remember falling deeply in love with that blue. And I think this is like the same blue. It's stunning. Okay, so now I'm going in with um, Bioluminescent, which I'm so excited about because it looks so pretty. It looks so, so, so pretty. Oh my goodness, Bio, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love with that shade. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that I was gonna love this palette the most and um, yeah, I think that I was right. Hey everyone, this is, you know, how the looks have turned out and um, I'm honestly so, so excited by these shades. Like these were so much fun to work with and so much fun to play with. I really love the shifts. I love how intense both of those colors are. They're kind of like neon uh, multi-chromes almost to me. I mean, but this is a duochrome, it's not a multi-chrome, so excuse me. Um, but it's just the fact that they're very neon kind of like shimmers and I absolutely love the way that they've shown up for me. Um, I love both the looks. I really do. Like, I, I think this could have used like a, maybe a pop of a different color in there, like, you know, something to kind of contrast that beautiful blue. Um, I feel like I could have totally mixed up, you know, Starfish and the other shimmer that I put here over here because it just would have given it that beautiful contrast. But I'm magic. Like, I'm honestly so in love with the way that these shades have been working. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. And uh, for this look, 
the uh, on the makeup detail you need to know is my lip gloss which is this lip, uh, lip gloss from Black Opal um, this is Champion Life it's a high shine lip gloss and uh, that's basically that everything else is the same makeup details because I'm mostly focusing on the eyeshadows for this I'm probably gonna revisit the palettes and I'm gonna have some fun with it at a later time I just wanted to get this video up so you can kind of see how all the colors swatch on me um, but <sighs> so 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 beautiful and honestly this eye over here it really reminds me of a palette that i tried a very long time ago it's the nomad um what was it the safari lodge palette like i feel like this really looks like that the only difference is that this is an actual multi-chrome and it really is shifting you see that shift happening and i just love that shift it is so so beautiful i just Oh, can't get enough of this so I knew that I was gonna love this palette and I'm having so much fun with it and um, we've come down to the last four shades so I'll be giving you my thoughts on you know everything at the end um, but yeah we're basically down to the last four so let's get into that hey welcome to the final look now I did get really excited and I happily started doing my look and I was like oh my goodness I'm not recording okay so this is the shade manta ray and uh, it's so so pretty and yeah it matches my top um, I actually just realized that and I did this unintentionally but plankton urchin and ocean glass which are all you know in this like section here they're all multi-chromes so I'm like okay like I'm gonna have lots of multi-chromes on my eyes for this look so let's see how that goes so the shade undertow is kind of like a navy kind of blue I'm just gonna add it here at the end Okay, so I have this now on my eyes and now we're going to go in with some beautiful shades. So the origin looks like a purple kind of shade. It's really fascinating actually. It's kind of like purple, pink, gold, green, everything. Um, I'm going to put that in the center. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that color. Oh, I love that color. I wasn't even expecting that color. I was like, I wonder what this is going to look like. It's so pretty. I love greens and purples together. So. As soon as I saw that this combination was kind of coming up, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be fun. Plankton is probably going to be the inner corner shade, and uh, it really looks like a very pretty color, actually. Look at that. It's so pretty. Um, oh, yay. I, oh, oh. <laughs> I love that shade. I love that shade. That is perfection. The only place I have is at the end, so at the end it's going to be... It looks like a very fascinating blue color, so let's see what happens here. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, that really is pretty. Okay, so I put that there and I added a little bit of that at the top. Hey everyone, this is the finished final look. Now I am so, so, so excited. Like after finishing this look, I was really happy. Let me give you the makeup details and then I'm gonna break down the palette for you and tell you about it. And then I'm gonna tell you how I feel about the collection as a whole. So uh, for my mouth, I kept it simple. I went in with Toffee from Juvia's Place. It's a very pretty, um, like kind of lighter brown shade, which I really like going in for when I don't wanna draw too much attention to my mouth. Um, and then I used my Yensa foundation for my blusher. I went in again with this Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue Blonzer. It's in the shade Kiss of Mauve. I got this in my Ipsy and I have been loving it ever since I got it. Like this, this product is amazing. Like I need to go and get more colors of this. And I have a code with Bare Minerals too. So if you're interested in going and grabbing anything, I'll just put that on the screen. You can go and do that. My base for everything was Alter Ego and uh, this is an eyeshadow base. It's the best that I've used and I stick with it. Um, and then I think that's about it. Lashes are from Temu, um, from a very, very old purchase that I did a long time ago. So I'm just kind of finishing up my lashes. And then for my brows, I only used the Ulac Brow Kit because I love Ulac. Like this is so easy to use. It's so simple. It's just one product and I'm done. And I think that's about it. Yeah, there's basically no other uh, details that I need to give you about the look. So let me get into the Oceano palette now. Like honestly, I knew that this was going to be my favorite palette even before I tried it because the colors were just so happy and so me and like even as I was trying all the shades I was like oh my goodness I love this I love this I love this I loved every single thing about this palette like I have no issues with this 
palette at all like I just I love it like it's just the perfect color story to me and just you know from my reaction I'm pretty sure you know which palette I liked the best like it was definitely Oceano the palette that came second for me was Archeo because it was so unexpected and you know there were so many surprises in the palette that made me go ooh like I wasn't expecting that color combination and you know I, I just had so much fun with this one I really really liked it and I, I think because I love pastels you know just having those pastel shades in here really made me feel so happy and so good and I love the looks that I created so yeah that was basically second and the last was Paleo for me um Paleo I think is absolutely gorgeous as well like I, I really don't mind the shades but I do think that a couple of them like I think Pangea went into my skin right yeah so Pangea was the one that didn't really show up that much for me and I think even in Art Youth, I think there was one that didn't show up. I, I don't remember which one that was, but if you go back and look at my looks, you can probably see. Um, but I, I actually think that for the most part, a lot of the shades here were showing up perfectly fine and they looked really, really good. Um, I was very happy with everything that I was trying out and really enjoying the different color combinations and just, you know, taking my time with it. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed playing with all three of these palettes. Now let's talk about the formula. So I'm going to start with the matte formula, like across all three palettes, um, you know, this formula was kind of dry. It's a, definitely a drier matte formula um, and when you dip your brush into it you do have like a little bit of that powder that forms across like each pan so you should know that you know like you don't need to dip into this like you know with a lot of effort and a lot of force. Just a light tap will do and you will get color from you know the pan onto your brush and that will transfer into your eyes so that's fine. Um, now of course with the shimmers there were multiple different types of formulas so I did explain Archeo and I did talk about Paleo in my reviews of them so you'll have to go and get those but I can tell you about Oceano right now. Um, you know I feel like it's very smooth every single thing has been very very smooth very pigmented very creamy kind of you know like in in the Oceano palette I really love it it's just it's so smooth and it's so satisfying to work with colors like this because you just take your brush and tap into it just a little bit and the color comes on and you don't have to fight with this you know to get the colors on like it's so easy and so smooth so I really really loved the formula um, I love the multi chromes in here I think they're gorgeous like I said I do want to do more looks because I just wanted to swatch everything and I, I think that I made a mistake like you know like especially with these three shades because I, I kind of didn't realize that ocean glass urchin and plankton are all multi chromes and I kind of put three on my eyes so it's it's a little bit tougher to see I I think some of the shifts here and I kind of blended it in with the mattes and everything so they may look a little bit different like just on their own. I absolutely love this color story. Oceano really blew me away and I feel like there are so many more combinations that I can get out of this. For the most part I can describe the shimmers as very smooth and very satisfying to work with and it's not difficult at all to work with these shades so even if you're a beginner I think that the only thing you're gonna need is an eyeshadow base and that's it. Like you can you don't have to do complex looks. You can just take one matte and one multi-chrome and that's more than enough. Like that will just be all you need, you know, to create a gorgeous, beautiful look. And that's always been what I loved about like that is that has always been what I have loved so much about multi-chromes, especially with Cleona. Like I really love their shades and I know that they last for a long time because I've sometimes worn my Cleona eyeshadows for like eight hours and they've just stayed. They've just lasted the whole day. So I absolutely love that about them. Um, the pigmentation for practically every single shade has been fantastic. The only thing that I did have like slight issues with was like I said, um, that shade with the dinosaur on it. Which one was that? That was in Paleo. Um, and it kind of blended into my skin, but I was kind of expecting that. Like that, that generally happens, honestly, like with every palette because of my skin tone and my undertone like this is just like you know it's just expected that a color like that would definitely blend into my eyes and everything but I did say that I don't mind the fact that there is this shade over here because sometimes I don't really need to have like you know um, a deep color in my inner corners so I can kind of use that in my inner corners if I want to just kind of make it look a bit lighter and brighten my eyes up so I didn't really care too much about that and I like the imprint I think it's adorable I love dinosaurs so I saw that and I was like yay that is so so cute I love all the imprints that they've done like across all of these palettes I absolutely loved every single one I kind of feel like all of the shades were very consistent, you know, like each time I dipped into them and everything, I was getting really good color payoff, so I was very, very happy about that. Um, now, I always work with a base, so I can't tell you what this works like without a base. I don't recommend using eyeshadows without a base because I really think that you should always be looking to protect your eyes and bases can kind of help in some ways with that, you know, like it's a layer in between, you know, your eyeshadow and your skin, so it's just, it's just best to use a base always, and I feel like this works really well with the alter ego shadow eyeshadow base 
Now, speaking about packaging, I absolutely love the packaging and I do have a point to make about this because like, I really love the way that they categorize the shades for you here at the back. It is so helpful for people who may not know like how to work with the shades or don't really know where to begin or maybe intimidated by shadows like this. I love the fact that they did that. That was so nice of them to actually give you like different color stories and they've done this for all three palettes. So you, you should not have anything to worry about if you've never worked with colors like this before because they're giving you easy ways to actually go into the colors if you want you can even create like monochromatic looks um, you can do whatever you want really like use the color wheel and experiment and have fun like you know these palettes are just so much fun and something else that I um, wanted to show you is this like when you line up the palettes like this can you see this like this is so pretty like these are even more color stories that you can kind of try out over here because I was actually thinking like you know these nine colors could be like one color story and then these next nine colors could be another color story and then these nine can be another those nine can be another so you know the possibilities here are pretty much endless I actually feel like doing that like kind of mixing and matching from like all these different palettes together which is something I did not do right so let's talk about the uniqueness of color story here so for Oceano I love this so much like I don't think I have anything in my collection that's so so fun and so pretty and just so awesome like I was just so so happy with this color story so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 I absolutely love Archie as well like I feel like that was also a 10 out of 10 that was so so pretty um, Archie is um, you know the the one that has more yellows maybe people have seen you know this kind of color story before but I really like the fact that they had added in like a little bit of these muted tones in here like this green that kind of turns into a peach and then you know like this that kind of grayish shade over here so I kind of like that I felt like I don't have anything like this so for me it was pretty unique I think the only thing that comes to mind is the Nomad Province palette and that's a completely different color story because it's kind of got yellows pinks reds purples and over here it's kind of like yellows blues oranges um you know kind of like pinks it's, it's just a different color story I don't think that I have anything like this so I really love the uniqueness of this it, I think it's very very pretty and I think it's been done very well um, same thing for Oceano I just love those really um, special shades here I think bioluminescent and um, Moana Loa those two oh my goodness those shades they they made my heart flutter like that 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 was like Oh my goodness, like if you buy this, you're, you're gonna fall madly in love with the shades here. Like honestly, like I was just so, so happy with Bioluminescent and Mokalua. Those are honestly, like I would buy this palette just for those two shades. So I'm really like, I love the color story of this as well. Just stunning. Pale you, I kind of feel like maybe I have seen something like this before. I don't know where, but it kind of feels a little bit familiar in a sense maybe it's like the fire and ice thing like I don't know if I actually have like a palette with these exact tones and everything but I feel like you know it kind of feels familiar in a sense so that's why for me like the other two were a lot more special than um, Paleo however there are some beautiful special shades in Paleo too that would be um, Archaea and Ice Core which are just so so pretty and I would honestly love to kind of mix the cool tones from Paleo which is you know like the top row I would love to mix that like with the Oceano palette and you know I think the warm tones would go in so beautifully with Archeo um, yeah this, this is really really hard like it's so hard to actually be like yeah I don't like you know like it's actually really hard to not like something about this collection actually because I just had so much fun creating all of these looks and I feel like I could do a lot more looks like you know if I had more time and you know energy and more skin and or if I just had more eyes in general sometimes I do wish that I had like a lot more eyes so I could test out palettes better <laughs> as crazy as that sounds like I would love to have like eight eyes and be like look guys like I have like the entire palette on like all eight eyes like that would be fun the other thing I wanted to mention was like like I was talking about how Archeo kind of feels like a spring, uh, summer, and fall palette, and I kind of feel like Oceano is just the perfect, per this is just perfect for summer, like this is the summer palette, like in, you know, in this collection, it's just so freaking gorgeous, like every time I open it, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a true summer palette, it is just so happy and joyful, and I cannot get enough of it. Um, Paleo to me kind of feels like a, I think, fall palette, like it really does, because I think the colors just scream fall to me. Like, I feel like this is beautiful, you know, so it kind of feels like they've created um, lovely palettes for every season in a sense and I kind of feel like that top row could even be like for winter because it's just cool tones 
Um, I think even bioluminescence from Oceano could be, you know, more into winter and stuff. I think certain shades from Oceano could fit into winter very, very well. And then there's this, you know, like these colors here, these would look really nice like during Halloween. So I don't know, I feel like they've given us a collection like for the entire year. Like when I'm thinking about all these color combinations and everything. So it kind of feels like this entire collection is so great just for like everything you know like there's so many different things that you could do here and you could mix and match and it's going to be fun like and i'm pretty sure these are magnetic palettes so yeah you can probably like move them around you know just create your own color stories if you want and have so much fun with everything so i don't know for me this was a tremendous success and uh, i was really really happy getting to test everything out for you and i don't really have anything else to add i thank you for joining me for this review i will see you soon for another video if you have any thoughts on this collection you can drop in the comments below and i will get to you when i can and if you like the video you know you can always subscribe because you know then i can say hello to you so uh thank you for joining me and i will see you soon in another video and i do hope that you have a wonderful week Bye bye